Okay, so to answer this question right here, where we've been asked to find uh, the value of x and y, we, we have a lot of methods on how we can answer this question. But I'll just pick one for you so that you understand and uh, you follow it. Okay, this is called substitution method. So if you can see nicely here, we've got uh, equation 1 and uh, equation 2. There are two equations. So between the two equations, pick one of the equations that you start working with. So I'll get to the first one, which is uh, 2x plus y is equal to a 4. So I've gotten the first one. Now after getting the first one, you make one of the letters be subject of the formula. So we have 2x plus y here. Whichever letter that you want to be subject of the formula, you can make it. So here, I'll make y subject of the formula. So I shall have, I shall have a y. Here it will be 4 minus 2x. Hopefully you've seen what has happened. This 2x cross the equal sign, and this is what we, we have. After reaching this point, we now go to equation 2. We know that this is equation 1. This is equation 2. In equation 2, we substitute. Where y is here, we substitute uh, this. So we shall have, uh, we shall have 3 x minus 3, 4, minus 2 there, inside the brackets, is equal to a 2. So, hopefully you've seen the steps. What I've done here is, I've, is that I've just gotten what is right here and substituted it there. And this is what we have. The next thing here is to solve for x. So how do we solve for x? Order of operation needs to be applied here. So we shall have 3x minus 12. We get rid of the bracket. So negative 3 times 4, it's negative 12 plus 6x. Negative and negative, it's positive. 3 times 2, it's a 6 and x there is equal to 2. Okay, so we group the like terms. We shall have 3x plus 6x is equal to 2 plus 12. Okay, after grouping the like terms, we now work out things. We have uh, here, we shall have uh, 9x is equal to 14. Remember, we're solving for x. Divide by 9, divide by 9. This side will cancel. So our x value will just be equal to 14 over 9. Like that. So now, uh, we can also solve for, for y. We've, we've, we've solved for x. So for y, we come at this point where we made y subject to the formula. So we shall say y is equal to 4 minus 2x. Okay? Y is equal to 4 minus 2. What is the value of x here? It's 14 over 9. Here we work out, we're getting a 28 over 9. Okay? So the lowest common denominator here will be a 9. 9 uh, 9 into 9, it's 1. 1 times uh, negative 28, it's negative 28 here. Here there's a 1. 1 into 9, it's 9. 9 times uh, 4, it's 36. Okay? So when we work out here to finish it up, we find that the value of y will be equal to 36 minus 28. That's 8 over 9. So the value of y is 8 <laughs> over 9. Nine. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sitamba Jacob. Hopefully, you've learned one or two things out of this video. Bye bye.